Hey, this is Matthew Gill from Back of the Room for Punchline Magazine here with John Lajoie, uh, the man who has come into your living rooms uh, or your basements or quiet corners of your home with explicit online videos to either you or your teenage children. Uh, he's got a new album coming out. He has a nipple that has been shaved just on the pink part, round of Terry. <laughs> Looks like a cupcake. <laughs> You're making me hungry. <laughs> he's got a new album out called I Kill People. And uh, he's on a television show called The League. It's no big deal. I'm on TV. He's like, on TV. No big deal. Like, Super huge famous star. It's like, I'm, and I'm next to him. Yeah, You know whatever. what I mean? I'm going to take a Facebook photo and upload yeah. it to all my high school friends and be like, what's up? Yeah, but just imagine that there's an invisible wall. There is wall. a wall here. You cannot cross <laughs> there's a, this wall. Yeah, there's a, there's a wall of talent. Yeah. That's about yeah. That's like Why that's right too here. close. Don't. This is too close. Don't. He says he doesn't even want, he wanted me to take off my wedding ring because he didn't even want to have a filthy Midwesterner next to him. It was disgusting. He called me a peasant. It was gross. We're here in Hollywood. You're on a television show. All what? these great things happening. Hollywood. Hollywood hustle, baby. Monday, Monday, Monday. Made it. He made it. Made it. He made it. You know, so yeah, yeah. at one point you were a nobody. At one point, but not anymore. Not anymore. Man. Okay. I've got a supporting role on cable television. What? what? Got to get that supporting role, cable dollar dollar <laughs> bills, yo. He was dropped off here. Yeah. Okay? It was so, a Honda. Yeah. Do Wait, I get a meal out of this, by the there's way? There's a meal ticket. Okay, cool. It's a ticket. Because I, uh, I haven't eaten in days. <laughs> yeah. 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 So now, how do you make that transit? You're, you, where did you start? How did that? I actually, uh, I went to theater school in Montreal, so I did like three years of theater school, like Shakespeare and all that kind of stuff. But I wanted to do comedy, and there were no opportunities. It was just like Quaker oatmeal commercial, yeah. you know, that kind of stuff. So I was like, you know what? I just started shooting stuff Yourself? myself. Yeah, because uh -huh. I saw a bunch of videos online. Uh, that were really hilarious and I knew like you could tell they cost like three dollars to make yeah. and I'm like Oh, it doesn't take money to, to shoot something and yeah. I I just started messing around like my first ten videos are pretty much <laughs> Garbage yeah. like if you watch them, it's like oh it's like the quiet so I'm, I was learning you know Yeah, yeah, and slowly, you know, I kind of started doing it and it, it was it's great. It's such a creative you could do anything like it's, yeah, it's crazy yeah. to have that freedom no one's really ever had that freedom if you look back yeah, like to yeah. shoot something and edit it and put it out in front of an audience like you have to like yeah suck so many dicks yeah to be able to do that <laughs> tell me about past. it <laughs> <laughs> if sucking's all you're doing you're lucky <laughs> oh i'm doing everything for money uh, <laughs> yeah, that's not even for video yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, just just for fun <laughs> and then I, the musical comedy for some like yeah. when because i was in a band and i was like and to me, it was just technical. The reason why I went to music was because my camera was so shitty that the sound on it was horrible. So I'd shoot these sketches, and I was like, well, the sound's horrible. But then I realized that you can just import audio and then bring the volume down, and then you have good sound and like decent images. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, I could just write a song and then sync it up. Done. So now that there's a lot of people who watch, you know, who are aspiring comedians, aspiring actors, you know, comedians yeah. and, and whatnot. What's it like being on a TV show in the sense of like what your day is like? Like what, what does that entail? Like, yeah. with like the scheduling and all that kind of stuff. Um, with the league, it's kind of really, really uh, particular in a sense because we shoot really fast. It's like really low budget, uh, and there's no script there are outlines like it's the outline of like okay in this scene like you know what the episode is like you yeah. get it like in a kind of like Seinfeld way this happens George comes in and said blah 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 yeah it's the same thing but there's no dialogue written down so you have to just get there and just be ready to like improvise be ready kind of have like we all have like a few jokes kind of planned yeah, and like yeah. sometimes they fit sometimes they don't but most of it kind of happens on the spot and you just, uh, you get there, you go over it, you're like, you're sitting there, you're on set, 50 people, they're setting everything up, and you're just like, as soon as they yell action, no rehearsal, yeah. it's like, all right, action, all right, now Andre's talking about this, Andre, okay, then the, okay, Taco comes in, he says his line, or says something about, you know, vinegar strokes, or like yeah. some crazy <laughs> thing about a monkey chasing him, and then, okay, and then like, so you do it. Yeah few notes do it again do it again play around oh that was funny that was funny let's do that and keep it going 
and then by the end of like in an hour or two you have a scene yeah and then yeah. the editors will piece it together yeah you know? <laughs> the madness yeah. it's like a beautiful mind yeah you know what I mean? oh, like word salad you know this 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 <laughs> can you describe any of the behind the scenes personalities of the you know either the characters on the show that Steve Rand is easy Nick Kroll Paul yeah. Shear, the cast I mean what are they like behind yeah. the camera and all that I mean is they the are all true. extremely uh, sexually abusive towards me. <laughs> extremely. Like, yeah. no, you're laughing. But it's like I've, I've brought it up to Jeff, uh, who writes and directs the show, and him and Jackie Schaefer. I've brought it up to them many times, but they're like, dude, the show has to go on. At the end of the day, you can get these guys arrested, <laughs> yeah. but the show's going to get canceled, and you're not going to have a job. Yeah. So it's like you have a choice. Yeah. And I go with the sexual abuse yeah because I need a job it's your last and final performance yeah okay, it's the best performance of your life what comedians do you respect dead or alive um, to see to have in the back of the room to see the best that you've ever done I gotta say Carlin um, Louis CK um, I'll say the kids in the hall is one person perfect I'll say Monty Python is another Perfect. group of people. Um, who else have I been uh, watching a lot of lately? Uh, I said Lucy K, Carlin. Uh, I mean, it, it, Dead or Alive. I guess maybe like a Bill Hicks. I'd say Sandler for like his the influence nice. he had on me from uh, listening to his. Uh, I guess that a lot of his like songs early on. Uh, really like kind of made me go oh yeah musical comedy that's funny like yeah. his um, the sh shampoo bottle up my ass yeah. at, a medium, at a medium pace yeah at a medium pace but we're here to talk about I Kill People which is a new album available wherever uh, you have a computer yes yes so what, what's the impetus for that project I mean how long does that take to put together um this is funny. I'm not a very good businessman. <laughs> I he already lent me a hundred dollars, so we know that's not true. You know? <laughs> yeah, I I like I've had these. Uh, I'd say two thirds of the songs on this album yeah. have been online with videos for the longest time. <laughs> like, I, the song "I Kill People" has, and I'm not bragging. I'm yeah. saying this is how stupid I am. Has yeah. 15 million views. Yeah, I just put out the MP3 on iTunes like two weeks ago yeah. <laughs> I'm like John you're doing this backwards yeah. you, need, you need someone to advise you yeah. this is Matthew Gill for Punchline Magazine this is Jean Lajoie he has a CD uh, it's actually a digital download this is in 1994 yeah. uh, it's called I Kill People he's on a television show called The League at Thursday nights at 10.30 with a bunch of other famous and influential people uh, please see him in a town near you John thank you so much thank you really appreciate your time and uh, thank you guys for listening and watching. Take care. See you next time.